Welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, God bless you. The Christ Embassy leader that... Um, I brought you some of the men and women that were her victims last time after the interview that one young lady can granted to Solomon Temple. I relayed the video here, I replayed the video, and, and some persons contacted me and uh, we scheduled, even though that, that meeting was not as successful as I wanted it to be because uh, some of them started having issues with network and they could not come. But the, from what I gathered, the amount of money that that woman collected from people is uh, into several hundreds of millions of naira if not i know running to billions and um eventually the business went the way it went and uh, i want to lay some kind of background here you see many people have been doing this in nigeria and they have gotten away with it i'm a victim of aims asset management portfolio if you are a nigerian and you happen to be one of the victims you can you can, you know, uh, signify, confirm in the in the comment area. Ames Asset Management Portfolio. Maybe around 2010, 2010, 2010, 2009, 2010. You know, it was when somebody approached me with that program that you put your money annually and they use it, they manage it. They say they use it to, you know, trade. And at the end, you sign, you sign a contract maybe five years, 10 years, 15 years, at the end of mat you know, maturation, they give you, they give you, you know, the interest. And I think the interest around every year, I think is about 20% or 25% are forgotten. Now, but what happened was that uh, at the end, I needed mine after five years, after four years, I signed for 10 years. They said, no, that they cannot give me for four years. I should at least allow it to mature at five years. So I waited till today. The five years was supposed to elapse in 2014, and this is 2022. Ames Asset Management crippled so many people. Now, because this is Nigeria, everyone gets away with this kind of nonsense. There is a bank, there is a bank, a microfinance bank, Olive Microfinance Bank in Lagos, that has rendered so many people, including my own money too, now useless because um, according to the people, the owner of the bank joined politics in 2000 and um, was it 2000? The last, the last uh, political dispensation that uh, uh, the electoral processes that brought these people here was it 2019? He joined politics, and could it be that he used people's money for politics? And you know, this is the country whereby the law is only applicable to the poor, and that was what this woman actually wanted to uh, leverage on. But then there is a good news here because she has been declared wanted by the police. I'm going to play for you voice conversation I had with one of the victims as per how it got to the point where police came in now and declared her wanted. But the truth is that uh, Yemisi Imasi has been declared wanted. Mrs. Victoria Yemisi Imasi, female, wanted by the Nigerian police force. The Assistant Inspector General of Police Force a Criminal Investigation Department Annex, FCID Alago, Ikoyi, Lagos. So, the above named person is hereby declared wanted by the Nigerian Police Force. A warrant of arrest slash uh, bench warrant issued by the Magistrate and High Court of Lagos. He is wanted, okay, she is wanted by the police for the offense of fraud, obtaining money under false and the stealing in Lagos. She's a son by tribe. She's aged 46 years, five, five, point five, five four feet inches height, oval face, small nose, small mouth, thick lips, good teeth, white eyes, yellow in complexion, small shin, brown hair, small head. Home address is uh, Irua Town, Essence Central, local government area of a do state. Last known address, 506 Fatai. Uh, Fatai what? Street, Olowara. Fatai Lapad Street, Olowara. Omoli, Phase 2, Lagos State. If seen, arrest and hand over to the nearest police station 
or to the Office of the Commissioner of Police Lagos Criminal Investigation Department, First Criminal Investigation Department, Alagon Ikoyi, close Lagos, or call 07065-9090-08029406557. So that is it. I'm going to play the, the conversation I had with one of the victims as to how the thing got to this point. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, record this name. Hello, you can, you can hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Okay. So, I was saying that uh, during that period that we uh, started anchoring the program. Okay. Uh, so, we decided that uh, kids should be coming from, uh, or kids to be getting to her from different quarters. Okay. So, as we were anchoring the program, people were sharing, you know, and then uh, other processes that we did before and uh, left, we started to, uh, you know, revisit them again, establish them, those that took her to Allah gone before. Everybody would say we should use this opportunity to start uh, uh, mounting treasures from different sites, you know. Okay. okay. So, those people that uh, some people working at the Buja, then uh, other people that um, uh, that took her to uh, Alagbon, you know, there was a time she jumped bail at the beginning of this. Some some people took her to Alagbon. Mm. Even arrested, you know, I told you once that they arrested her and mm. even kept her. Uh, it was to spend the night at the police station, but the husband came and then um, bailed her and then. You know, she jumped bail. Mm. So those people now, you know, we spoke on the telegram that they should use this opportunity that since, you know, as you are calling the program, people are hearing, the news is getting everywhere now. Let's use this opportunity. So that too, they revisited the case again. And this time around, uh, those people say that the case should be transferred to the legal unit of uh, um, the police unit at Alago. Okay. You know? So they now it now become a court case, and as at uh, yesterday, apart from the the police, what you know, declaring her wanted that the what that was the one you saw about a week or two weeks ago. Mm. As at yesterday or two days ago, the a court has already issued a bench uh, warrant, you know, against her. This one was the uh, federal high court at um, uh, in Lagos here. Yeah. One uh, ring him so. It's now a criminal case between uh, her and the Inspector General of Police. Oh, that is good. So, with this one now, there cannot be any protection because uh, you, you are now against the Inspector General of Police. So, the police that will guide you, who want to, who don't know where the police is going to come from. So, any moment from now, is going to be picked up. We don't know whether she has eloped from the country. Uh, but we have not had that. Um, she, has, she has not reported herself, and we have not had of any uh, arrest yet. So people are speculating that maybe that is is hiding somewhere, or we have helped her to look. But whichever way, already uh, has been declared uh, wanted. So we, even if she runs out of the country, you know, the police will. Um, Set that network in action to get her, and that is a major breakthrough uh, for us. And uh, although the, the the court case only uh, takes care of the people, there the, were six people that their money to that thirty-four point six million naira that took her um, to Alagbon at the initial stages of this um, uh, fraud. Mm. So the court. You know, is they are the one that um, took her to court. The judgment or whatever is going to be taken will only take care of uh, the, those six people. The, the, the advantage to us is that number one, if she's in the uh, in the net of the police, we can now institute our own. Um, it is not difficult to trace her again. Then. Whatever judgment that this court is going to give, 
would be uh, a sort of reference to our own uh, litigation against us. Mm. But, but, but is it not possible for you guys to join yourself in the in the in the, in the a very ongoing case? I think there is something like that. You uh, you can apply we, to join. Uh, we say, we say that, but the the people involved say that you know it cannot be treated that way. That already all the documents and whatever uh, the, all those documents have been prepared already, and. Uh, it's not something that will be altered or, or, or there's no addendum or they can't join anything like that. That is not possible. But we are still asking legally whether something like that is possible. If it's possible, that's what we are going to do. But if it's not possible, then we we'll have to wait until the judgment is uh, pronounced. But it's like if uh, other January or February, that's the time they have uh, adjourned the case. It was not present in court. So, that was why the bench warrant was uh, declared, and the case has been adjourned to either February or so. So it's after you know, what they are saying is that it's after that judgment that we can now use that um, that judgment as our own reference point. But to join the other two people, that is it's not possible legally. Um, so we are trying to seek opinions of uh, some other legal luminaries whether something like that is possible in law. Okay. Yeah, I think I think it's a very good uh, good development. Uh, at least uh, Nigeria should not be should not should not, look, should not look like a zoo where people can just do anything and get away with it. This is a country that has rule of law, and yeah. everybody that has money seems to be buying their way through to you know exactly. uh, justice and making injustice some people. I think exactly. it's a, it's a good one. All right. So that was the conversation there. But then as um, so I was listening to Solomon Izang while he was talking about this woman's uh, uh, issue. I actually got this note, this uh, information about a week or so ago. But I just wanted to be sure. That's why I saved this, the screenshot and I was waiting for the right time to do it. So I needed to confirm from persons who are concerned before I carry out the video creation. So what I did was that um, I, was, I was listening to Sol Sol Solomon. Solomon was uh, kind of describing... What happens at Christ Embassy? The Christ Embassy is that kind of a church whereby if the pastor is having his birthday and uh, maybe an idea comes from the leadership, no, he's our pastor, we're going to buy him a new car. Now, so be it. Everybody everybody now will get involved to buy him a car. Now, the question is, as I was listening to him saying this, I said, so if the members should love their pastors this way, and then somebody from the leadership has misbehaved this way, what has been the contribution of the pastor? What has the pastor done? What has the general pastor of this assembly done? Because this is not the first person that is that is getting involved in this kind of a thing. So if the members should love their pastors, are, are the pastors also not supposed to be committed to the welfare of the members? Knowing fully well that uh, Ken was not the only uh, Christ Embassy member who got involved in this whole thing. I want to believe that there are other Christ Emb uh, Embassy members who got enmeshed in this, you know, in as much as there are many people, I have, I have a sister, Lima, who happens to be a Muslim. And because this was a Christian program and because of some other Christian couple that she knew and she trusted, she came into this and several of these people have been rendered, rendered, I do not know how the word to use, but they have been incapacitated by these things. So the question is, what is Pastor Chris and his church doing about this? Now, why should this church, or uh, you know, be enmeshed in this kind of a thing. The, the other time, we we had a report of a young man that came and he was whitewashed. His brain was whitewashed or brainwashed, the way they put it. And he gave a house that was housing his parents and the other members of the families. You know, he gave it to the church. And as at the time that, that case came up, it was difficult for the church to agree to hand over the church, the house back to the owners that made the people to go to court. Now, this is not how things are done. God is not, God is not involved in all these things. How can, how can, even if the boy came under some kind of influence, I know, don't give this kind, no, 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 no. Where would the parents of, of the young man stay? The aged father and mother, where would they have been? As, I, as I'm talking to you now, I don't know how they resolved it. Did the church eventually hand over that house to the family? I do not know. So these are the things that people should actually look into. Well, um, 
This is my own one cent. Let's know what you think about it. And I think I am so happy that this thing is happening now. Uh, it is good that it is happening now so that uh, people will not begin to think that they can. There are so many people. Who, in fact, the last video I did, there are there is another Christ Embassy leader who also got people involved in this. Why will church be doing this kind of a thing? This was the same thing that Bushiri did. And he has become a celebrated case. And South Africa being the country that it, you know, it is, you know, went into action. But I, since uh, the police have declared this woman wanted, let's see if this will be the beginning of many good ones to come. I will see you in the next video. Let's know what you think about it. Till then, from me to you. Shalom.